Hi everyone. I hope to see some of you joining me tonight. If not, I say hi for all those who are watching the replay. Uh, I just wanted to let you remind you that today is day 17. We'll be unwrapping another uh, Diamond Art Club from their advent box. And uh, just to keep a watch on uh, when I'm online in the evenings all through Advent. We have some neat stuff coming up in the new year if you want to be part of that. Um, there is a member questionnaire that you can fill out if you would like some happy mail for next year. I just need your birthday. Hey Dawn, glad to see you come on on. It's always good to see somebody else here with me. That's awesome. We just got started. I should say I just got started. <laughs> Wonderful. So glad you're here. Um, first, we're going to unbox the Diamond Art Club Advent Kit for today. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to do a happy planner first. Of course. Today would be day 17 on happy planner. Let's see. Are you working along with it with me, Dawn? Do you have a project out that you're working on too? Let's see. Are you in a climate where you don't have to go out and shovel anything tonight? Be protected from all the weather. Let's see. All right, seventeen. Ah, got some little candy stickers today. Alrighty, always fun. Okay. <laughs> it's not easy to lift it up. I think last time we opened, uh, was it seven? Are we on eight now? We opened eight, so we're on nine today. Let's see where the the bump is it's up at the top you do you're working on your hydrangea garden oh nice are you um on the the facebook group you could post pictures on there you get five inches of snow in the poconos you know i've never been up to our cabin in the poconos over the winter i need to do that i won't uh I don't know. I think you're. I think you're close to where our cab, where our cabin is. It's in Holly, not Holly, but it's in um, Lake Wampawpack and Indian Rocks at the bottom, um, near not Lead Rock, Ledgedale. It's. I'm sure it is beautiful. You don't have to go out and drive in it, do you? Um, today we got release papers. And they're quite small release papers. Oh, you're okay. That's not too far from the lake. Uh, the release papers are nice because if you have you have a slick side and a clear side, like a flat side, and you put the flat side down, the words are printed on the top that you normally see. If you don't like the clear sheet of plastic that covers your diamond painting, you can put release sheets down instead, and then you just do a block at a time underneath it. You can even label them and do it as your own, like um, calendar, like just put random uh, numbers on them to correspond with the days of the month and just do one section a day if you want to. They always come out nice that way. Oh, it's cleared up now? That's good. Yeah, I, I love to watch the snow. I just don't like to drive in it. Let me see. And next is our cat ear. I believe this is the cat ear. Yep. This is the cat ear. 
Okay, 17, 17. Okay, not bad. Um, yesterday we got a, a collapsible funnel. And today we got a, a plastic funnel. Both of them come in handy. Uh, the drills like to stick to these. They shouldn't, but they like to stick to these on the way down. This has a bigger mouth on the end too, if you need a real small opening. These little funnels are great. And well, you can even put that in the bottom if you wanted to, but I would just take a dryer sheet or a little bit of rubbing alcohol, uh, put it in the center and dry it off. And that way you don't have to be concerned with the static. Um, a lot of people right now this time of year have been having trouble with static in their drills. And I think it's because a lot of us have dry heat on. Um, maybe not the wonderful people down in Australia. They're going through their summer as we are going through uh, starting our winter. So let's see. And done paint factory. You use alcohol, your dryer sheets too. That's good. That's good. I think that that works about the best. Oops. That one's in upside down. I don't know why that is. Nope. I'm in upside down. That's the problem. I opened it upside down. All right. But today is still day 17. This is for Diamond Painting Factory. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. We got two gnome keychains earlier in this kit, and I wondered if we'd see the drills for them. No drills, no kit. Not that we need another kit because most of us have plenty. But uh, these are all the gems as well. I don't see any special shapes. I lie. That's a tear. There's a little teardrop in there. And some of the cabochons are bigger than the normal drills. Yep, no purple hair tonight. I'm working on a new webcam, so I hope it's uh, hope it's working well. As far as um, it's been funny seeing me opening the advents. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they work out fine, and sometimes they don't. <laughs> If you saw last night or the night before, um, I'm still very disappointed with this pseudo snow globe <laughs> from the crafty one we're going to open tonight. But I bought at the dollar store today after work. I bought this mica. It's like um, faux snow. And this clear faux snow, even though it'll be just a static will do better in something like this. But I think I can do even better than this thing. Uh, there are glass containers at the dollar store and at the thrift store. And also at the dollar store, they have little like Christmas scenes. So if I get a little glass cup, and do the same thing with it. Um, a little glass or a little plastic cup like this. Put a Christmas scene in there, not a mermaid scene. And put the mica in it, it'll look like a snow globe. The way it's meant to. Yeah, the way it's meant to look, not this goofy thing. I was that's the thing I was most disappointed about so far with the crafts. Crafts. I can't even speak tonight. I'm just delighted we have the drills for the gnomes now. I got almost all the coasters done. And oh beans, come on now. What did I drop? Mm. Yep. I dropped my wax pen. I'm going to need that for the nutcracker. All right, 17. Number 17 is the tiny one over here. What kind of crafty thing can we do in this little thing? I want to paint the sticks from yesterday. I got some more paint from the dollar store today because my white paint was getting goofy. Oop. All right. Come here. Oh, 
Oh, that's part of the lid. All right, we have a little bow. We have a short tongue depressor, popsicle stick, whatever you want to call it. We have a bunch of red circles and a bunch of white circles. Let's see, two, four, um, five, five of each. And let's put this away, then we can read the instructions. Oh, and I think for this thing, um, the glue I have, the gym, that I'm going to try the jewel it. I don't really think their glue is going to be really wonderful, but I could be wrong. And I'll put some of the mica, more of the mica sheets on there and just put the stars on it rather than putting pink on it. I don't like the pink color for the tree. You are welcome for the box of goodies, Dawn. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. I'll be sending out a whole bunch during the year um, for Happy Mail if we have, if I have birthdays. I'm just going to do it like during the whole year rather than just all one at the end. <laughs> and I'm going to learn how to de-stash de like some of the other creators do. I'm going to have to watch a few of theirs and learn how to do that. Because I have a lot of kits, some old and some new from Diamond Art Cub that, uh, and others that I can share. All right, this is going to look like a lollipop. That's going to be cute. And it says to use the hot glue gun. Let's see. And, of course, part of our gold string here. So let's do this. And... It is, okay, <clears throat> it says to kind of create a circle out of the circles to make it swirl. So let's see if we can do that. The only thing about webcams is I can't zoom in so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to do it as best I can. I'm not sure how much space to leave between them. That may be trial and error here. Yeah, I think we're going to have snow for Christmas up here, too, down here, too, because um, it would appear that we're going to have a storm again next, the next few days. Okay, the only tricky spot I felt was the last one because you have to get it over the one in front of it and under the first one. So I think, oops, no, wait, I'm trying to get them all evenly spaced here. There's pictures, they make them look perfect, you know, but we're not perfect, are we? Hey, Robin, glad you could join us again tonight. Dawn's here with us tonight. I'm sorry you can't stay. <laughs> Thumbs up, Robin. <laughs> you can always watch it later if you'd like. Glad you're here, at least for whatever time you can. Okay, so... I was just showing Robin that I got at the dollar store. I got some fake snow and I'm going to redo the, the snow globe in my own way, made with fake snow and like Christmas figures rather than mermaid figures. And I'm not going to put the pink flakes on this tree ornament. I'm just going to use the white, the blue and the stars. And now we're doing the popsicle stick right now. I think, I think I've got it looking okay. Oh, and we got the drills for the gnomes in the um, diamond painting factory box. So we didn't need to worry. All right, well, I just screwed that up by picking it up. 
course I did. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. This is just put a dot down and put the next one down. I'm using one of these little green trays for underneath my hot glue gun. I'm using a silicone mat that I bought off of one of the crafty sites a long time ago. Oops. Oh, don't glue yourself to the mat, though. That would be horrendous. Thank you. Philly, Philly, Philly. All right, just a little bit. I need to go crazy. <laughs> All righty. Dawn was just saying they had five inches of snow. Was it five inches or five feet? I didn't read that right, did I? Five inches of snow. All right, you can come back in a bit if you'd like, Robin. The snow globe sounds cute. I always think that's a jip when one door, yes, when one door has the painting and a different door has the drills. Yep, I agree. I agree. And especially if they don't tell you ahead of time that that's going to happen so you know i want to know what to expect i don't want to go thinking i have to scare up my own drills which is fine i have a gazillion of them for heaven knows but i just like to be warned ahead of time all right not so sure this is going to come out uh perfectly but Joy. <clears throat> I was one of the lucky ones today. I didn't get cursed out at work. <laughs> and I actually got a couple people who were really upset. I got them calmed down and laughing before. We have to do all that within three minutes when they call. I can't see a 10 year old having the patience to do some of these craft projects. I can't either, Dawn. I can't either. Um, yeah, I, I've lost my patience with some of it, but it is what it is. I, I think part of the fun is doing it with an adult. So if I was doing it, I would do it with my granddaughter. See now that I, that didn't come out the circle the way I liked, but if you're away from it, it kind of still looks all right, kind of sorta. All right, so now where's the instructions again? Now it wants me to glue the stick down, just a little bit of the top of the stick, which we can do. <laughs> All right, it doesn't show it, but I'm going to glue the, the loop on. And this is too big of a loop, I think. Way too big. And glue that at the top. And probably burn myself while I do it. Okay, not bad, not bad. And let that cool a little bit. Then I'll put the bow on the front and it will be done. They shut down oh, Route 80 West on Thursday near Scranton. I got to tell you, 
one time I, I went to school all the way in Mansfield. Okay. And I'm down below Quaker town, down 309 from route 80. And so it was like a four hour drive to get there. Oh, schnook. You know what I did? I'm not paying attention. Fuji. I glued this on the wrong side. Ugh. Anyway, uh, so one Thanksgiving, this was in the 80s, one Thanksgiving, I was on my way home for the couple day break, and it snowed so bad on Route 80 that me and my little Maverick, I was going, I was driving behind a truck, you know, and I was in my late teens. So I didn't know if I should be behind the truck or not. But all I knew was all I could see was the back lights of an 18 wheeler. And I was determined if that truck was going to Jersey, I was going to Jersey. I didn't care. I was coming, you know, east on 80 and he got off right at the, um, right at 309 where I needed him to. And from there on south, it was much better. But it, it took me so long to get home. And I just, I, all I could see was the backlights. I was afraid to stop because somebody would run into you. I couldn't see where the side of the road was. I couldn't see what aisle I was in. So when I saw that truck right behind him, it's the only thing I could do. But, you know, by the grace of God, I could get through it. It was scary. It was very scary, especially for a 19 year old, you know? Okay. Here we go. That's not too bad. I'll let it uh, dry a little bit more before I put it up on the, up on there. I'll let this plugged in because I'm going to, Use it again to glue the popsicle sticks together for the next craft. But we need to paint him white. So I got some temper paint at the dollar store. I'm going to use one of these old green boats for the white paint. And it would help if I opened it from the inside. Yep. Oh, come on. Don't tell me. Oh, nope. Yeah, I couldn't get my white paint out yesterday. Two days ago, whenever that was. My, I, my days are all running together. I don't really know. Ugh. All right. And some dollar store paint brushes. If, if I accidentally drop out, it's because this stupid Windows wants to update while I'm doing this. It's so annoying. And I have like different um, tabs open on my browser. And every time, every time I do that, it wants to update and shut everything down. And I'm like, no, I'm not done yet. Have a great night, Robin. Have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, or, you know, another day soon. Okay, I'm just going to paint the sticks with the temper paint. And it looks like it's going to need two coats because this is not very opaque. Not in the least. That figures. Oh, it's temperate. It's not acrylic. And I didn't see that when I purchased it. <clears throat> Here we go. 
that's almost one. I found the um, painting book I was doing in Arizona. So I'm going to make some more backgrounds. I had gotten some, some more paints uh, from Jane Davenport that came in a couple months ago. So now that I have them all together, I'm going to paint some backgrounds and some more pictures and I have, um, I showed a uh, Josephine Wall journal yesterday that came in from Amazon. And I love it. It's so, so beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to use that as my art journal this year, coming year. My Happy Planner stuff is coming in. So I'm soon going to be doing a... This is my setup for the year for 2023. I'll do a video on that soon. I love Joe Wall too, Dawn. Anything beautiful like that. And I love the symbolism in it. And some of the symbolism you can you can take it to mean what it means to you. You can read into it what it means to you rather than just taking her view of what it is. It's meant to read yourself into it like that. I have some oracle cards I, that I use for her, from her, and I use them as part of my devotions after I do my scripture reading. Okay, so when that dries a little bit, I'm going to, should I do tacky glue or jewel it? Or the goop that they gave me? What glue should I use for the plastic tree to put the um, the mica on? What do you think? I have no idea what's in here. It's probably like an Elmer's, like a child's craft glue. And maybe I'll do that after I get the others done because it's going to be a big mess. And I don't want to get a big mess on the uh, nutcracker for tonight. The jewel it? Yeah, I'm thinking of that. There we go. All righty. <laughs> our, our little tree here looks kind of ridiculous with everything hanging off of it. I think what I'm going to do is separate it into two trees, like hang the nutcrackers on one and hang the ornaments on another. Um, oh, gee, I pushed this together. It's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's kind of looking a bit ridiculous. The only way to see all the nutcrackers is if I put it on a different tree stand. I have another one upstairs that I used for. Oh, uh, yeah, a craft sales list a year or two ago. I was debating between tea and an adult beverage tonight. The tea won me over. Oh, come on, Santa. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Did you get everything you ordered, like from the um, Good Friday, Cyber Monday sales, if you were able to order anything, or you waiting for some to come in yet? You still making up your mind? Or are you saving your money for other things? <clears throat> Let's see. We're going down to the end of our nutcrackers, believe it or not. Are we that close to the 24th? Yeah, we only have a week now. A week and a day. Isn't that amazing? You did get yours? Only ordered two? That's cool. Which two did you order? Right. 
Let me see which one I have the most left of, and I will do one of those. I like the black and green. No, you're not the same. Uh, you're the same as those three. Two of them, one of them. All right, I'll do that one. Here we go. And I have another boat I can use for the drills. Ick. It's going to take longer to paint these things than I thought. No big deal. Let's see. Normally, um, I've been at my work for about a year now, this new place, and it's an answering service for doctor's offices and HVAC and um, municipalities and apartment complexes and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, Pirates in Paradise and a mystery kit. I got one of the mystery kits, too. I can't wait to unbox them. Um <clears throat> So, number three. Um, so most of the year when you're on, you have some breathing room. You might have a spurt of about five or six calls. Then you have like a couple minutes breathing room where you can read a couple sentences in a book or something or, you know, color a leaf or something like that. And, um, you also got a kit from D Stash called Rainbow Flower. I love that one, Rainbow Flower Power. I love that one. Who was doing the D Stash? Um, because I have to learn how to do that. Come the new year. Unfortunately, I got rid of a lot of my boxes when I went to the underbed soft side boxes. And um, so I started saving them in boxes again. I have sinus problems tonight. Um, yeah, so, but today, the whole, the whole six hours I was on, and last night, the four and a half or so I was on last night, the calls were coming in one after another the entire time. I barely got a breath, you know, to catch my breath, run to the bathroom, grab another cup of tea. Cindy Lee, hi. Cozy coloring corner. Glad you could make it. Oh, hi, honey bun. My hubby's here too. I'm glad you could all make it. We've done the unboxing for today, but you can catch up on that on the, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. You can catch up on that on the replay. It'll be up soon after we quit. Um, our craft for today was kind of cute. These are little felt circles and um, a short tongue depressor. Really sweet. Hi, Dawn. We have two Dawns on tonight. Glad you guys could come. <laughs> yeah, my hubby's name is Mark, but he likes to go by the black hole. <laughs> you can just call him Dab if you want to. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we were just uh, chatting about work and i almost have the coasters done from one of the kits i'm going to finish them tonight uh, that's five is that the number i see yeah i need more glasses stronger glasses <clears throat> magnifying something or other so it was kind of exhausting i barely got in uh, a bite or two of of lunch in between all the calls today. 
But I didn't get cursed at. One of the other girls did today. <laughs> I've been able to, in three minutes, we're supposed to keep our phone close to three minutes if possible, which is pretty possible for the most part. But when you have somebody that's that's just insistent and doesn't like to hear the word no sometimes, because um, we have to go by what the doctors tell us, not by what the patients tell us. And they don't like that all the time. So... Um, Anyway, I got a couple of them to laugh today instead of going off on me. So that's always, for me, that's always a win. If they can laugh, even though if they're not happy with the outcome, they can laugh. They're better off than when they started. Anyway. Watching Clutch Cargo. Ah, uh, he's in one of his nostalgic cartoon moods. Anybody else remember Clutch Cargo cartoon? What were what was one of your favorite cartoons growing up? I'm not assuming you all grew up in the 60s and 70s like I did. Although the past two or three nights, the ladies have. We're all, we're all around the same age. I'm, right now, I'm thinking of Tom Swift. Anybody else think of some childhood cartoons that you'd like to see again sometime? We were even talking about color forms the other day. Remembering what our color form sets used to be. I had a weather one. It's kind of boring after a while, but what did I say? Didn't I say Tom Slick? You like the Flintstones? I did too, Dawn. I must have said the, the name of the cartoon wrong. But when you say clutch cargo, that's the one I thought of. I s <clears throat> the other night, Tammy recommended some uh, either Michael's or Joanne's had diamond dots or Hobby Lobby had diamond dots um, paintings. And we were talking about cartoons and they had some peanuts ones legally licensed from peanuts looney tunes you betcha dawn um peanuts were my all-time favorite cartoon and only only my husband can stump me on some of the the trivia related to the peanuts he's the only one that can stump me every once in a while I remember when the Flintstones pushed Winston cigarettes with the camel. Yep. Times have changed. For sure. Oh, and Super Chicken. That's another one we used to watch all the time. And Dudley Do Right. Dawn said they had five inches of snow in Lehighton today. And I uh, told them about the, <clears throat> the time that I was coming home from Mansfield and had to, had to go the entire Route 80 behind a tractor trailer because I couldn't see the road. I only see the, his back red lights. And it took me so many, it took me a few hours to get home. It, more than the four that it normally did yesterday yesterday what's yesterday did i ask a question and forget what i asked probably yesterday was the snow is that what you're talking about yesterday 
Now I got it. Now I'm up to snuff again. <clears throat> I had a headache after work, so it took me a little bit to come back from that. I think it was just a sinus headache. I'm all right now. Uh, let's see. Well, I wasn't sure if I was doing the right thing in the snow because I didn't know if, you know how there could be like the wind effect, the backwash off of the, the tractor trailer. I never knew if I was right or not, but I knew if that truck was going to Jersey, I was going to Jersey because I couldn't see to my right or my left. I didn't want to stop because I didn't know where I was. I didn't want to, uh, you know, but it got off at, it got off at 309 where I needed it to, fortunately. And then after that, it was clear on my way south. So can you name the cat and mouse detectives that were part of the Hanna-Barbera universe? I can, but I want to see if somebody else can. All right, number seven. What is number seven? Is it the gold? Nope, that's ten. Eight. Seven. Here is the other gold. <clears throat> I didn't know if I made it worse or made it better by following that tractor trailer. But either way, it got me to where I needed to be, so it was all grace. <laughs> At 19 or 20, I didn't know what I was doing. Long, long time ago. Uh, let's see. When you guys um, watch other live shows on and doing <laughs> when you watch other youtube creators in the uh their live shows their whipping chats how long do you usually like to to watch we're trying to i'm having a debate with hubby about how long to keep these like under or should it be a bunch of small ones should it be longer ones i know when i'm Diamond painting, I kind of like them to be longer ones so I don't have to fuss with the the clicker buttons while I'm diamond painting. I kind of like to just listen to everybody while I'm doing it. The mouse had a slight speech impediment. Hmm. Now you got me there. I'm not sure I know what that one is. All right, and those are nines. Or is that eight? Eight or nine? Oh, both. Okay, I'll do the eights first, then the nines. Or are these the eight? It's seven. You like them to be about an hour? Yeah. I know sometimes I can sit and listen for two or three hours to different people and all, but wasn't the cat Mr. Jinx, Dawn asks. Uh, let's see what is number eight here. There's the nine, I know. Six. Four. Come on now, I had it. There, that's eight. There it is. Yeah, an hour is good. Okay. I Oh, okay. This has been 45 minutes. I do, I'm learning where all the little symbols are. So I'm just seeing how long it, it goes. Okay. 
just go down here. Yeah, after about an hour, we all need to get up and move around anyway. Better for our health if we do that. If I if I don't keep track of the time like that, I sit for a couple hours and I don't get up. And then I'm really stiff and ache when I get up. So... <clears throat> I'm almost done the nutcracker here. I think that was the rest of the eights. Now the rest are nines. Here we go. Close, but no. You're confusing Pixie and Dixie with Mr. Jinx with the other duo. Huh, maybe. I swear my husband would win every trivia contest, hands down. He's so good at trivia. Especially the stuff in our area. Our, our time zone. Our time era. White paint is still wet. Cute. I'm running out of things to talk about tonight, guys. Ms. Divas. I did not oh, second that they both were wore second hint they both wore trench coats okay yeah I looked at the um, what the Diamond Art Club had for their Saturday offerings and I didn't see any today that screamed at me that I had to have them so my wallet took a sigh of relief for change I didn't get any packages today did I there weren't any on the doorstep when you got home from work <laughs> yay yeah I knew you'd like that did not spend any money today. Not even on lunch because they had some stuff at work and I didn't have time to eat it anyway. Nope. Uh, let's see. Well, I know you wouldn't love. <laughs> let's see. No packages, that's good. The only one I liked was the dragonfly one. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty. That would have been the one that I would have chosen if it came down to it, but I think I think most people got their packages that I sent a couple weeks ago after the giveaway. I've gotten some people saying that they received them. I tried to mail Christopher's off yesterday before work, and, and I got there. I had thought I had like 10, 15 minutes. I'll just run in and run out. Uh-uh. The line would have taken me an hour to get through. So I thought he's going to have to wait for his for uh, on Monday. Monday morning, I'll mail it out. Yeah, I'm glad you got yours, too. 
I think some of you put the put up your pictures on the Facebook group, which was really nice. I'm glad you did that. It, it made let me know that you got them safe and sound. I did one almost identical to the dragonfly one. That's why I didn't get it. Yet some of them have been similar. And I went on a, a different site looking at things, and it was one of the... Oh, that's why. When I was on the Michaels website looking at the Diamond Dots ones, they had some of the ones in Diamond Dots and their, um, their own brand that looked exactly like some of the ones I've seen for a couple years on the Chinese sites. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. It wasn't original at all. And they were charging like five times the price for them. It was ridiculous. And like somebody said yesterday, some of them were partials and they were charging what you would get charged for a full drill. But it didn't, no. <laughs> it did not motivate me to buy any. Thank you for the goodies. Oh, you're welcome, Cindy. No, that's okay. I know, yeah, everybody has a lot of things on their mind. I'm, I'm just glad you got it, Cindy. I'm very glad you got yours. That's the most important thing. Oops, now I left that out of it. Is it Ignatz and Crazy Cat? Is that the one you were thinking of? I don't know if he's the detective. I keep thinking of Secret Squirrel when you said detective. And I know that's not the one you meant. Last hint. Nope, I got it wrong. Their show, their show, one of the three segments of the Quick Draw McGraw show. I'm lost now. I can't get Secret Squirrel out of my mind, so I know that's wrong. Okie dokie. There we go. Get in through there. And here is the nutcracker for the day. So we got the ornament done and we got the nutcracker done. You can't really see it well. Here's the color, the blue. That one over here. The next time I show it to you all, I'm going to have the, two, the ornaments on one and the nutcrackers on another one so that they match, that they look better. Oh, Snooper and Blabber, of course. Now that you say that, I, I know exactly who you're talking about. All right. This still isn't... Uh, Popsicle sticks aren't getting white. That's dollar store paint for you. We'll work on them just like the snowman until they come out right. I can't remember and I won't look it up on Google because that's cheating. <laughs> Uh, my husband is fantastic with trivia. Especially when it comes to 60s and 70s stuff. Yeah, he said uh, he said it was Snooper and Blabber, of course. They wore those trench coats. They walked around in the trench coats. Snooper was the dog and Blabber was the mouse? Or was that the opposite way around? And one of them carried a magnifying glass all the time. Uh, 
Okay. Now I think Dawn suggested to use the the gem tack for the jewelet, I think. For the tree thing. I'm gonna try to do at least one side of that. Let's see. <clears throat> I just want that one and the stars, I think. Maybe just a little bit, tiny bit of the blue. They later showed up on Laugh Olympics in the late 70s and 80s. Laugh Olympics, was that the one like the, the Great Race or something like that, where they had all these cartoon characters get together and do weird stuff? Okay, now I have a little. Uh -huh. well, I'm not shaking the table here. Um, smear the glue on. Under the tree. There we go. I still got one side done tonight. Yeah, the cat was Snooper. And the mouse with the speech impediment was Blabber. Yogi and Huckleberry Hound, Peter Potamus. And... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them one together. And the later shows even Jabberjaw. I, you know, I, the weirdest thing, I thought of Jabberjaw the other day. I think it was when I was doing Dinkum because something about those sharks kind of look like, kind of look goofy like that one does. The Jabberjaw did. Oh, come on now. All right, let's see if we can't get some of this mica stuff on in here without getting it everywhere. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a little bit. <clears throat> A little bit of the blue. I do not like the pink, so I'm not going to put pink on it. Come on. It won't all stick because. All right, need a little bigger hole in that. Yep. Just a little bit. And then the sprinkly stars. So like I had uh, said before, I'm going to do the rest of these Advent openings. I'm going to do them live every night. That way I don't have to, you know, the editing is a lot easier. I don't have to do a whole lot of editing to it. It goes right up for people to see right away. And when you're doing something that is like time intensive, that's like the easiest way to do it so that you get it on time. I was having problems getting them up on time because of the editing time that I needed to do to cut out like traffic noise and all that. They were Olympic style games with Hanna Barbera cartoons framed up against each other. Teamed up against each other. Yep. Okay. Now this is one side of the mica tree. 
didn't turn out too bad. I didn't have any green. You can't really see the little colored stars on it, but they'll come out okay. I'll do the other side tomorrow after this one gets dry. Then I'll show you the result tomorrow. Well, it's an hour, everybody. And I'm done the goodies for today. We'll keep working on some of the ornaments until they're done. I'll show you the finished coasters tomorrow. And I'm glad we got the drills for the gnomes today. So I'll probably be doing them. And we still have the two of the Diamond Art Club ornaments to make as well. So we got plenty to do. Thank you, Dawns, for joining me tonight. Thank you, Love, for coming in and entertaining us with the trivia um, trivia question. And Cindy, thank you for coming, too. I didn't want to forget that you were here, too. Yes, everyone have a wonderful night. And uh, I will hope to see you tomorrow. If you're watching the replay, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, <laughs> come back again. Right. Awesome. You got, you got it, Dawn. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good night. It's been fun, Dawn. Thank you. Yeah.